Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Prismata. Uh, what am I doing? Why was I looking there? I wanted to see if anyone I knew was online, but I don't actually care. I just want to see what's on TV. Shadow Row. Playing base plus five. Uh-huh. What's the deal here? Like... Probably not getting Mahars. The attacker here looks like Tarsier, I guess. You want to get Arca eventually, I think. I mean, obviously you always want Arca eventually, haha, uh -huh, but... Will you have the economy to support that much blue? Like, if you start with wild drones and then go into Tarsiers, you won't have many drones. And together with Brooder, you may be able to put a lot of pressure on an Arca player with, like, who's he spending all their money on walls? I don't know. Am I just gonna do something silly like 1A next turn? My opponent wants to empty the wilds immediately. against that. Like, okay, so if they're doing this, they're getting, I think... The only justification for this is Mahar and maybe Arca um, are, like, what you might say calls for a large economy in this set. Um, does Tarsiers and Brooders beat that? I don't know. I guess we'll see. <laughs> I guess I think that's what I want to do. I mean, they'll be building, like, a Rhino to defend, and so I could just... It's only one Absorb, I could choose to kill Engineers instead, but I don't want to do that. I don't know. Killing Wild Drones is pretty okay. That this puts a lot of pressure on them. Right, I'm threatening six damage next turn, and they have a splitter on defense. They need to stop me from breaching, and then if they do that, I just kill two wilds. It's a question of what else do I do this turn. I can get a, a Blast Forge, but they're gonna be trying to kill my wilds. So, like, I think I'll just build another wild. I'll have trouble defending, actually, if I do this. I, don't, I think I should just get a Blast Forge. So here's the thing. If I attack for five, they lose both rhinos, right? I think that's still better than killing the wild. I 
I'm so tempted to buy a brooder, and I don't know why. Alright, if they have five attack, it really kind of sucks for them. And they're gonna have to keep building, like, rhinos to defend. And then I can take out the wilds when it's more convenient. Maybe? Not sure when exactly that will be. Maybe these should be a brooder and a drone. And then next turn it's not so awkward to, to just deal six damage. What about Arca? Is that relevant ever? I don't think 7 damage is enough, actually. Like, long term. I need more, and I don't want to just get a little bit. Oh, wow. That's very bold. No kidding. Wilds are just not that important, man. Uh, they're losing 2 attack. I don't need... Threatens to attack. This was another game about wild drone management. I mean, I say, I say another. I haven't had one of these recently, but I certainly have had games where that has featured in the past. Um, I think my opponent was too overzealous in killing my wilds. Too eager is the word I was looking for. Um, Also, maybe too too much assuming that I would kill their wilds. Um, if you're if you can put pressure on their defenses and make them like if they're in a spot where they're gonna be sad if you don't kill wild drones, then don't kill the wild drones. Sounds obvious, right? Um, but putting, putting pressure on them to defend leaves you two options that are both pretty good, and they have to find a way to defend against both, right? Attacking their defenders or killing their wilds. And especially when they have, like, Tarsiers behind, something, something breach vulnerable. And, you know, usually, like, drones, those are breach vulnerable enough that pressuring their defenses is good. But uh, Tarsiers even more so. Makes it very important for them to defend. And if they're holding drones back, you definitely don't want to kill wilds, right? Um, so the idea behind all of this, like, continuing to attack was to try to put... Um, put enough pressure that I could threaten to get to the ordinary drones. Uh, while still retaining the option to kill wilds without wasting a bunch of attack. Um, if they do defend enough. The Blast Forge was maybe optimistic, but my thinking was that if opponent targets... well, what exactly was my thinking? How, how do I justify all of this tech? Maybe that 
is a better way to think about it and doesn't have a very good answer. I, the reason I bought it was I was thinking, well, you know, my opponent is going to be threatening to breach my defenses soon. Uh, and they'll actually, of course, be killing my wilds, so the blue won't be that great. But I need it to prevent them from getting to my drones and tarsiers. Uh, which is true so far as it goes, but in addition to needing it, you have to, like, say, can I actually use it? Um, and if the opponent is killing my wilds, then I don't need it, and I can't use it. <laughs> um, so, I don't know. Maybe I should have just stayed on mono red. And, um, built more rhinos or something, right? Because, like, I, I gave a lot of thought to this, this wild drone line. Or, at any rate, I thought about it. I don't remember if I can say I gave it a lot of thought. Um... And if I knew that my opponent was going to promise to keep killing wilds, this would be definitely better than a Blast Forge. But I was concerned that my opponent would attack my blockers instead. Um, in the same way I was doing. And if they do that, this wild drone feels pretty bad, right? One red is not going to do well at defending against five damage. I guess I could do it by building two Rhinos and this guy's still on defense, but man, does it stink. Um, I don't know. It might be right. Let's, let's actually look at what happens if we start from this point and uh, opponent tries to kill my... not my wilds. Although, like, really? Will they? They could hold back the splitter if they want to do that, but then they're just killing a single engineer, which feels pretty bad. Maybe do something like this. Defends reasonably okay, and Shredder being frontline is not that big a deal since the wilds are frontline too. Um, makes use of their splitter. And now, like... This is so much damage. I have to do this to defend. But I guess I can do it. I can get a... Oh, they're losing, um... Two attack. So... I guess I'm still doing this anyway, but they're just attacking for less. Means I lose fewer rhinos. Yeah, hmm. And then now that I've built a bunch of crummy rhinos, you say, okay, fine, I'll kill your wilds instead. But this come, this has come out pretty well for me, in fact, right? I have all these rhinos, they have, like, no defense. This doesn't do it. Like, they actually can't kill two wilds, because then they can't defend. So, what do they do instead? kill these two rhinos and an NG. Well, less than that, because you're holding the splitter, right? So it's just killing these two rhinos. Doesn't feel great. And then, like, I can kill this shredder if I want. Well, I have to kill the shredder, sort of. Well, I could kill two wilds and leave the shredder, I guess. But I think it's worth clicking a Rhino to kill the Shredder instead. Simplifies my defense. Hmm. Honestly, this feels even better for me. Getting the Wild Drone first. Because my opponent isn't really in a position to, to pressure my defenses as much as I thought they might be. If they do that, they leave me with enough wild drones to spend my tech pretty well. There's that one turn where I have to build a bunch of rhinos, but I can do that and get a blast forge if they're not attacking my wilds, so... Okay. Well, worth thinking about. Oh, fast match. Meoweth. Alright. 
Step one, mute this fool. Uh, player one looks very strong here with like Fastimus, not uh, Play Mammoth, Hellhound. And then there's like even an Oride Core for your first uh, Flame Animus attack. Or Oxide Mixers or something. Actually, I think I might have. There's like a global muting feature that I might have figured out how to use to like mute now with uh, emotes forever. Um, I don't know. I'll just mute them every time just in case. Uh, yeah, like DB into D3 into like one drones. Seems good. Actually, like, it's a little bit too much money on the turn when I build the Oride core. Maybe it should be an Oxide Mixer instead. Not sure. But this line is just begging to be played. I think if you try to go protoplasms or something weird like that, you should definitely lose. Okay, interesting. I think that almost always loses to Flame Animus, but... Sure. Um, I think I might get a second Blast Forge. Is that crazy? Cause like I don't I don't have quite enough tech, right? If I'm just buying Hellhounds, which I want to do, um, then I don't know. Maybe I should do this. But this only works for like basically double hound and nothing else. Oops, no. This. So like I could do something like this. Cause I kinda want a hell a hellhound next turn, and I also want a wall. So maybe I can get away with like this, because this gives me a few more drones and less red to commit to. I can be like Hellhound Wall or Hellhound Oride Core. Hashtag plays. Um, yeah, okay. This seems kind of cool. Hellhound Oricor is clearly not happening because I need a wall. Uh, it's clearly, like, well, it might not even be time for Hellhounds yet. Actually, it is, because I can't easily spend my tech otherwise. Great. Because they are making me not click the Oride core. That's fine. Like, I'm not building enough attackers. Is the fact that I have blue enough to make up for this? This is obviously wrong. I guess I'll get an engineer.
and uh, just sort of wait. Like, eight attack is the most they're gonna have. I'm defending that with Wall, Hellhound, NG, NG, but I'm not actually able to build the second NG in that set, right? I'm sort of gradually losing a little bit of progress here, but actually they're not attacking for eight, they're attacking for seven, because they have to lose a, a Rhino here. And that actually is Wall, Hellhound, NG. Yeah, I'm staple here. They're about to have Rhinos to defend that are not attacking, maybe? Like, clearly, I don't know exactly how that changes the equilibrium, but I still feel fine. I think it's okay. I can react if necessary. I'm just saying they might be able to get to 8 attack somehow uh, because of these two Rhinos. Although I guess not because they just have fewer. Yeah, okay. I'm, they're super, super dead. I just, I cannot lose anymore. Right? I don't think I ever could lose as soon as this set was dealt. I had won. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty good for player one. Yep. Not much to do there, I'm afraid. Just, um, build something good and then... I don't know what you do as player two here. Like, mirroring Flame Animus feels bad, but I don't see what else you can do. Um, I guess you could try... like, the Hellhound line, which should be better than Tarsiers and Rhinos line. Right, my opponent basically played Base set only, mono red against like Flame Animus Hellhound, which can't possibly be winning, right? So, um, if you wanted to try something different, maybe, maybe something like this. And they have 13, so if they want to, they can build like Tarsier Tarsier Wall, or they can build. Hellhound Rhino, they have a few options. This is relevant when deciding whether to build the Oride Core, right? Will it actually be any good against what opponent wants to do? I guess if I build the Oride Core, they won't build any Absorber. They'll just build Tarsier, Hellhound. So I don't really like that outcome. So I'll just build another Flame Animus. And I don't really, I can't really justify this for the same reasons I couldn't in the game. I don't, I just can't spend all this tech. I could choose to float red, but I, I need more drones. Especially since I like, don't have that Oride Core return where I droned up a bit. So they, they do like this. And now, like, a wall for me is okay, but not great. I don't know. Something like this. Oh, hang on, I forgot. That since I'm not- I didn't build the Oride Core, so... They might very well build a Rhino here, but that feels bad against my wall, right? So maybe they just do this, something a bit slower. And now a Hellhound's pretty good. Two more drones or another Blast Forge? Probably two more drones. So I don't know about the details, but this feels <clears throat> a lot a lot closer than the Fastimus line to me. Um, 
you sort of like have some actual play. Here, you're making things a bit awkward for me in a few ways, and hmm. maybe I can do this. He loses the Rhino on defense, which kind of sucks. But I now have enough drones, I can squeeze in one more Blast Forge, and I threaten a bit more attack. still feels like not great for my opponent, but yeah. I guess I have to hold this Rhino back to let me do anything good. Yeah, I don't know. This, this is maybe not so bad for my opponent when I look at it now. Uh, yeah, this Rhino sort of plays around my threat of attacking with the Rhino, I guess. And, like, I'm just one drone short of what I actually want, so maybe the second Blast Sword wasn't good. Um, <clears throat> but, see how this is, like, way harder for me? I don't know. Maybe I played it wrong at some point here, but it just clearly works a lot better than Fastimus. And maybe there's a Flame Animus line that works as well, but I think, like, Mono Red was just sort of giving up. Because everything is easy for me. Ticket complete. Very exciting. Alright, well, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.